Here we have a high plank, very similar to a front plank in terms of how we set up and how we create tension, but the high plank is going to be done up on the hands. So it does require a, an ability to extend your wrist or bend it backwards. So something that can help take some strain off the wrist, which is a common complaint in this exercise, is to get the fingers spread out nice and wide and actually press through each individual fingertip to spread the stress throughout your entire hand and palm, opposed to all that load right on the wrist. So when we get set up, we're gonna spread the fingertips out wide, press through each individual one, walk the feet back, so we can again set that posterior tilt, push through the feet, flex the quads, and apply that same tension strategy of actually trying to pull your hands towards your toes and your toes towards your hand, to create more and more core tension. Notice how I'm not letting my hips sag or not shifting back to where my hips are up in the air. They're flat, trying to align from our head right down to our heels. Holding that plank position, you should feel this more towards the front of your abdomen opposed to into your low back if you're hanging down here. Again, you can hold for 20 seconds, building to 30, eventually a minute before you'd wanna progress this plank. 